These are hot. Come on, bae. Put yours on. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Or should I say welcome back to Vlogmas week three, baby? Vlogmas week three! We've been so crazy busy this past week. Um, I've been MIA all over the place and James is finally done with classes. Woo! Finally, got straight A's, my man. So proud of him. And uh, now we finally get to actually chill for once and um, enjoy the holidays for what they are. So we're just chilling in tonight. This is our chill mode. We want to take you guys on a very, very, very low key hangout bake with us. Right now we're whooping up uh, an early dinner and then we're gonna be getting some cookies going. Whooping we up. Whooping it up. Real quick, I wanna tell you guys what we're cooking up right now. All right, dude, what we're making right now, okay? Why does that look so dry? It's still working. I'm gonna put more. Uh... Ew, bro. So we're making split pea soup, all healthy, natural, like barely any sodium. This is what it looks like. Well, yeah, we're using the chicken broth, low sodium chicken broth. And this is what our- Careful, careful, careful. It's dried to the bones, so we're gonna fix that up, and hopefully it tastes good. This is our first time trying it. And we're also making, um, falafels. So, um, this I don't like that falafel though. at all. What? I don't like it. Why? Do you not taste all the seeds and grains? Bland. And then we got, over here, we got a... Oh my god. Yeah, baby, this is what I'm talking about. This is good stuff, right? Yeah. We even got new, uh, cookie sheets from Walmart, of course, because everywhere else they want like $30. Hell no. And I don't believe in that. Okay, so we got our tea. Let's go do the Christmas tag. Yeah, let's do that. So here I'm we go. loving these glasses right now. Merry Christmas. Christmas tag 2018, here we go. Question number one. Zoom it in. Expand the- uh... Use one noise to describe how excited you are for Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah. That's more like it. Mine would be, yay! <laughs> okay. Question number two, do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? No. <laughs> that wasn't our tradition when we were kids. We would go other places and do other things and then wake up Christmas morning to my dad frantically setting up, acting like Santa was there. So that was our Christmas morning. Um, yeah, our tradition growing up was we opened all our presents on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Better? Much better. Much better. <clears throat> Okay guys, we put the ring light on because that lighting was just too bad and uh, I didn't want to make you guys suffer. So, okay. Question number three. What holiday traditions are you looking forward to the most this year? Every Christmas Eve, we would go down to my aunt's and my whole, the mom's side of the, my mom's side of the family was very Italian. They would all be there. We'd have this big Italian feast. Everyone's happy, jolly. Um, but we haven't been able to go the past few years because of work and all that other <laughs> BS. Uh, but this year, because we made some really great life changes, uh, we can go. So I'm really looking forward to that. This is the first time I'm going to be seeing my family on Christmas in four years. I'm, I'm looking forward to, to eating bacala. That tradition, I mean, we would just eat bacala every single Christmas. And for those of you who don't know, it's just cod mixed with a lot of awesome ingredients like Olives. Olives and celery, even though I hate celery. Um, Her dad vinegar. makes the best My daddy. bacala in the world. Mm. I'm looking forward to um, just family. That's it. All right, question number four. Is your Christmas tree real or fake? It's very fake. Super fake. I mean, if you guys can't see it, it's, it's pretty much a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. The reason why it doesn't look so Charlie Brownish is because we just stuffed it with a bunch of like mm -hmm. wrappings around it. The so we just we buffed it up. Yeah. We buffed it. But if you don't have any decorations on that tree, you see right through it like everywhere. It's mm -hmm. you got gaping holes all over. It's actually my grandmother's Christmas tree. 
Rest in peace, Grandma. Love you. Uh, number five. What is your favorite Christmas film? That's a good question. I'm just so excited to think about it. All right, my favorite Christmas film. Uh, probably A Christmas Carol. For the sole fact that it scared the living crud out of me when I was a kid. Um, with all the ghosts of Christmas tomorrow, yesterday, and the next day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but now I appreciate it because I have those memories attached to it. Uh, it's a good movie, you should check it out. For my favorite Christmas movie ever, hands down, number one right here. I'll give you a hint, ready? One and two. Home Alone, baby! Home Alone 1, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Another really, really good one is Christmas with the Cranks. I love that. And um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation mm. with Chevy Chase. Okay. Number six. Number six. Where do you usually spend your holiday? Together. Yeah. Well, you know, it's crazy. I mean, we've been together four years. The first Christmas, we didn't spend it together, right? No. We, well, we, the first Christmas together, we were only dating for like two months. Yeah. Yeah. And then after that, we just spent it together and we just kind of mix it up. We see his family and we see my family mm -hmm. and yeah. that's it, okay? All right, number seven, guys. What is your favorite Christmas song? I have three, go ahead. Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas is number one. Number two is It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas. Oh, that's, that, that's mine, yeah. I think. And number three, Last Christmas by Wham. Last Wham. Christmas, I gave you my heart. But the very next day, you, you tore me it apart. Away. This is my favorite Christmas song, right? Have a holly jolly Christmas. And in case you <laughs> didn't hear. As number eight, what is your all time favorite holiday treat or food? Hmm, you go, babe. Treats? I'm so simple. I just like apple pie. Yeah, she does. I All holidays, like guys. Fourth of July, apple pie. <laughs> Halloween, Thanksgiving, apple pie. Armistice Day, apple pie. Christmas, apple pie. I like pie. 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 Give me pie. Pie. Not cake. Pie. I like cherry pie to be exact. Apple pie is good, but if I'm really getting frisky with it and being honest with you, it's cherry pie. She's all about the cherry pie. But if it's like Christmassy, I love Andy's mint chocolate chip oh, cookies. Goodness, that's what I was gonna say. We already made it this year. We're gonna make it again, probably tonight. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're making them right now. So stay tuned. I love the Walmart variety cheesecake. Oh, absolutely. Walmart variety I'm, cheesecake. I wasn't even gonna go there because that's just, yeah, that's where it's at. Mm -hmm. Walmart. Yeah. And the variety. A cheesecake. Oh, I think everybody knows all about that. Walmart Friday cheesecake. All right, guys, question number nine. Do you like to receive gifts or... Give gifts. Give gifts. Be honest. Go ahead. Give gifts. I like to mm -hmm. give gifts. Yeah, me too. All right, guys, question number 10. Uh, what is your favorite thing about Christmas? I feel like we kind of answered that already, but to be different, I'm gonna say um, Santa. Family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The family and Santa, and I still believe in Santa, okay? He's out there somewhere. He's she, riding along his sleigh. She does. It's wonderful. It's kind of making me second guess. Santa's real. My favorite thing about Christmas? Yeah, family. Definitely. Um, yeah, Christmas is one of my all-time favorite memories growing up, you know? Spending time with my cousins, my family, my brother, my sister, you know? Um, so yeah, definitely. I look forward to it every year for the sole fact I get to be with my fam. Mm -hmm. When do you start getting excited for Christmas? When? When? November 1st. What is the best Christmas gift you've ever received? My dad gives really nice sentimental gifts. Got me a really nice like gold watch mm. that I have. That was for Christmas, wasn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I remember. I love it. Very That's vintage great. looking. I loved it. Love it. And um, you got me that Thomas Kincaid tree last year. Beautiful. My mom also got me a sentimental like globe that had like a mother and daughter heart intertwined. So I don't know, I like the really sentimental gifts. They mean the most to me. They're the mm -hmm. ones that stick out. What is the worst present you've ever received? Actually, I do have one. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? No, but it was still sweet though. Like, <clears throat> a friend of the family once got me no names will be mentioned. I mean, they lost touch, so mm. and they, they're probably never gonna see this. And now, granted, I still appreciate the gift, I, no matter what. This um, jean 
jacket vest that I was like nine years old and um or ten something like that they got they got me like a plus size woman's vest and I was I it like went down to my ankles the vest I was about ten and uh, but the sweater was white and it was covered in stains really yeah it was covered in like like it looked like uh, like brown uh, like spaghetti that's a true story pasta stains, yeah. or did you just rip mine off nope it's a true story as a kid did a sibling ever receive a present that you wish was for you hmm well really. I mean probably for you well it's different she is the only girl out of three boys um, so, so we got just separate things. We just got totally yeah. different things. I was never jealous of anything they got. Yeah, uh, me either. No, my uh, my brother and I grew up pretty close. So if you got something that I eventually liked, we would just share. Share it. Yeah, we were communists. Yeah. Okay. Question number fifteen: What would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? Vermont with her brother. Hmm. With Chris. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Vermont. Her brother Chris is lives in Vermont with his beautiful family and in the uh, mountains, like up yeah. in the mountains. Oh. And he is picture the most jolly, happiest, most Christmas loving festive. guy. Yeah. So festive. He brings the everything to life. So for us, for me, for I know for her, I can speak for you as well. Mm -hmm. It'd be with Chris in, in Vermont. Yeah. Number sixteen, most memorable holiday moment. Okay, I actually do have one. I have way too many to even think of. Go ahead. I don't know why. This one just sticks out like a sore thumb. Um, back in the day, my dad would dress up as Santa and, you know, I would think it's Santa Claus in my house. So I remember one moment where he picked me up and he was giving me kisses all over and he pulled my ear and my dad is like, I don't know why, but he does that. He's notorious for just like, just like this, like a claw and he'll just like, wiggle or tug on someone's ear that's how i don't know that's how he shows it he does it to me all the time it's great he did it as santa claus and all i kept thinking was why is santa awfully familiar like why is he why is he doing the same thing my dad does why like does smell like are we related to santa um yeah when i was the one that pops right into my head right now was i was super little i must have been about five or six and uh, i remember we're out front of my grandparents house on christmas eve and it was late, we were just, we were getting home, we were dropping off my grandparents and going back home from the Christmas party. And uh, I looked up in the sky and I saw a red little dot, knowing now, of course, it was an airplane, you know? And uh, I distinctly remember thinking, oh my God, that's Rudolph. So I like freaked out. I was yeah, because like, you could see his nose from all the way down. The it was a little red earth. light, it was a little red light. Yeah. And at, my heart started racing, I distinctly remember this. And I started freaking out, I was like screaming to my parents, I was like, look! It's true, it's true. Last question, um, you have been granted one Christmas wish, what will it be? Hmm. I know what mine is. What's yours? My one Christmas wish is to have many, 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 many more Christmases with the ones that I love. I'd like to fly. That'd be my Christmas wish. I would love the power to fly, um, or maybe at least transport, just to get me to and from places quicker. <laughs> That'd be my Christmas wish. No. My Christmas wish? Uh, to marry her, actually. That's my Christmas wish. What? My Christmas wish is to eventually, someday, very, 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 very soon, tie the knot with this beautiful oh woman. Oh God, and, uh, I'm sure about that. That is not just a Christmas wish, that's an everyday wish. That's a so, lifetime wish? That's a lifetime wish. So, with that being said... That was the Christmas diet. That was the Christmas tag. Okay, guys, so we are about to eat some Din Din's. We got our split pea poop here. Um, all natural, healthy, from Whole Foods. It's from the brand Nebraska Barn Raising. It's supposed to feed six people, but with us, it's gonna feed just... Uh, about one and a half of us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this. They say you could put bacon or ham in it, and well, we don't got either one of those, so. Got that classic split pea soup taste. Um, it's not salty at all because there's like no sodium in here. Um, we don't even have cheese to make it salty. Do we need salt in this? No, it's good. Okay. Let's yeah, see. it tastes like natural and organic. It, it, it's good stuff. You don't like it? You need salt in there, don't you? 
And then the huge fan of split pea soup, but I'm comparing this to um, my, my, no, I'm, I'm actually comparing it to my best friend's father who makes the best split pea soup. Give Jenny a shout out. Jen, you already know. I was gonna, I was gonna. You ruined it. Jen. <laughs> love Jen. you, girl. I love, I love that. Love you, girl. Miss you, girl. Just don't compare to your daddy split pea soup, baby. So we're gonna eat, we're just gonna finish up, and then we're gonna make some cookies and um Call them night. Probably watch a Christmas movie. So here we are, we're making homemade chocolate chip cookies from scratch. And by mean scratch, I mean we're using crusties, triple <laughs> chocolate chunk. Uh, and we added our own Andy's mints. So that's my yeah. version of homemade. Trying to make it minty. Minty. You need peppermint or else it ain't Christmas time, okay? Mm. Oh, that's my one. I have to eat this raw. We went to Olive Garden the other day, and you know how at Olive Garden they give you those little chocolate mints? Uh, so we they actually give you like full Andy mints. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So we have a couple of them, and we're gonna drop them on top of the cookie so that way it kind of melts into the cookie itself. So we're happy about that. Shout out Olive Garden for hooking us up with our baking essentials. And believe it or not, I really don't like chocolate chip cookies very much. I never have, but my brother uh, introduced me to the wonderful world that is. Andy's mint chocolate chip cookies, and I'm a mint lover, so all of a sudden I'm like, now I love it. Now I love chocolate chip cookies, man. That's all it took. I didn't know you put them on top. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. We might as well have done one big cookie. Oh. Oh lord, what is this? That's oh. something else. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, behold. The. Christmas Andy's Mints Triple Chocolate Chip. Uh, actually, it's a quadruple chocolate chip. Yeah, it is. Cookie. So now we're just gonna chill for the rest of the night. We are gonna put on some Christmas movies, man. Oh, I just wanna chill right now. I don't even think about anything. And maybe eat some Andy's Mints chocolate and dip. Eat all the Andy's Mints chocolate quadruple chips. That was it. That's our vlog for the night. Vlogmas week three. Week three. So we just don't chill now. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining us. So we'll catch you guys next week. Hope you guys have a very, very Merry Christmas. Enjoy it. Whatever you do, be in the moment and enjoy it. That's so right. yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye, why are you such a creepy <laughs> when you do that? You're seeing the real deal, the real deal here, folks. Are you okay? I haven't even had a drink of alcohol, you guys. I don't know what's happening to me. I think it's because I'm so excited for this falafel. Oh, I just realized something. This might be the last video that we post until actually after, after Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. So Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year.